Welcome to BIM at Obo. In this video series, we want to support you in blending Obo cable trays in Revit. Section blending with Obo is more realistic than with Revit standard fittings. In this video, we demonstrate you the automatic placement of fittings to get you started with Obo section planning. After we have downloaded a system from the plugin, we find the sections under the System tab in the electrical area, exactly where the standard Revit section can be found. A system includes one type, in this case MKSM, a side height, a material and all this available in this combination. With the first placement we must pay attention to the height we set, in this case 60 mm. Revit suggests a height of 100 mm, which will not fit for us, because Obo does not have sections with 100 mm height. The side height we need to set in the properties window can be taken out of the product name. If we disregard it, the system will draw our attention to it in form of built-in error messages when the first fitting is placed. If we start our drawing with the wrong height, we can easily change it afterwards. For this purpose, you mark the corresponding areas and correct your entry. The error messages are intended to prevent incorrect planning and describe other things, like problems when a fitting is not available for a particular system or fittings with incorrect side heights are next to each other. A downloaded system contains the seven possible automatically set fittings for the seven direction changes which are predefined in Revit. In addition, it includes all related articles. We described the application in a separate video. The drawing with the seven automatically settable fittings is similar to the standard Revit fittings. The section planning is drawn using drag and drop and the corresponding oboe fittings are placed automatically. The only difference we see in the automatically settable parts is in the reducer. The complexity of the oboe variant is higher than the Revit standard. In a normal case, the transition between two section widths is displayed symmetrically. However, we can override this at any time by unchecking the symmetrical checkbox in the properties under construction. We can control the degree of asymmetrical shifting step by step with the number change under Reduzierwinkel 2 type ID. In the case of such dimensions controlled by ID, we have always stored a short info which becomes visible for the user when he leaves the mouse pointer over the corresponding attribute. Of course, it can happen that a length is selected that does not exist, which is described with the corresponding error messages. For example, here by moving 50 mm at one side. The fittings, no matter if they are placed automatically or manually, are located under System, Electrical and under Cable Tray Fitting. If you use another template, it can happen that the icon Cable Tray Fitting is displayed a little smaller, but in any case it is located under Electrical. The level of detail in the Obo fittings and all Obo models in general can be adjusted in Revit at your own discretion. In the future, we have set ourselves the goal of creating all of our models uniformly in three different levels of detail, coarse, medium and fine. You have now received an overview of the automatically placeable fitting parts. For the completeness of the system, we recommend the second video, in which the use of manually placeable components is explained. If you have any further questions, requests or suggestions of improvement, please contact us at bim.obo.de. Thank you.